Hi everyone, this is George Kenkov and I'm an amateur astrophotographer. In this video I'm going to share with you my first results using ZWO Duo Band Filter. It is evening of February 10th and I'm planning another night of imaging session. I've been capturing deep sky objects using Duo Band Filter for two nights already and that'll be the third night in a row and I haven't seen the weather conditions like this for a long time. I will only have two challenges for tonight. First, there might be some clouds that will be passing above my observation site and I hope they will not cover a target that I'll be shooting later. Second, I'm going to face 72% illuminated moon that will add more light pollution to my images. On the other hand, it'll be interesting to look at a data that will be taken using a new filter. ZWO Duo Band Filter, as it says in the name, is a dual narrow band filter that was dedicated to be used with color cameras. It cuts down most part of the visible spectrum and passes light just at two wavelengths called hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3. This filter is really good for capturing deep sky objects such as the mission Nebulae. It improves contrast and visibility of those objects because it reduces the artificial light pollution that comes from city lights. And as ZWO website says, it also can reduce the natural light pollution such as the moonlight. As a result, you can capture a deep sky object using a narrow band techniques, even though you have a one-shot color camera or DSLR camera. On the screen, you can see how the transmission curve of this filter looks like. As you can see, this filter passes just the specific wavelengths at hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3 and blocks the rest part of the visible spectrum. I got this filter for free when I purchased the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro camera in December during Black Friday deal from ZWO, so this filter was a really nice addition to the camera. Tonight I'm capturing using my Skywatcher 80D telescope that is mounted on HEQ5 Pro mount and the filter is located uh, right here in the filter drawer in between the focal reducer and the camera and as you can see it's a really nice spot right in front of the camera sensor. Alright guys, I'm back inside and it's actually a Saturday evening of February 12th. I got an extra night of imaging session and now it's time to share some results. Oh, and I just realized that I didn't tell you about the target that I was shooting. Unless you saw it in the name to this video. Anyway, the target that I was shooting during the last few days is called the Horsehead Nebula. It is a dark cloud of gas and dust that is surrounded by ionized hydrogen gas. And I thought it is a really good target to shoot using a ZWO dual band filter. So now let's take a look at some single exposures and see how this filter actually works. Uh, we'll compare the picture that was taken without the filter, picture that was taken using this filter, and also I'll show you a sequence of images that were taken during the, each night, and you can see how the moonlight affects imaging session when you capture using ZWO dual band filter. I was taking pictures of the Horsehead Nebula for four days, uh, starting from February 8th to February 11th. Now let's take a look at the single exposures from each night of observations. Let's start with the night of February 10th, because on this night I took pictures without the filter and using ZWO Duo Band Pass filter. And uh, let's start with the image that I was taken using the filter. All right, so here is the single exposure. Uh, this image was not processed in any way, the only thing that the histogram in this image is stretched so we can see some details. It is 5 minutes of exposure sub that was taken at gain 0 and the sensor temperature was minus 20 degrees Celsius. And we can see pretty good number of details uh, right here. There were some, uh, of course, some information about hi ionized hydrogen gas uh, right there on the picture and also we can see the flame nebula over there and when I was taking this picture almost 73% of the moon was illuminated and as you can see it is 5 minutes of exposure sub and we got a pretty good number of details and now let's take a look at the picture that was taken at the same night without the filter and as you can see <laughs> There is lesser number of details over there. There is almost no information about hydrogen gas right there. And by the way, I used exactly the same setting so that we can compare uh, how the ZWO Duo Band Pass filter actually does its job. And definitely we can see some results that filter eliminates not just light pollution from the city, but also some moonlight. And I, I, and I think it does its job pretty well. And now I want to show you how the moonlight actually affects efficiency uh, of uh, this filter so I got some images right there as well and so here is the picture I was taking on February 8th that's the image that was taken next day 63.9% of the moon is illuminated uh, February 10th and February 11th 80.8% of the moon is illuminated 
and uh, as you can see if I'll switch like this uh, pictures faster we can see like efficiency of the filter was decreasing because the moon phase was increasing every day and uh, so we can see it more obviously let's take a look at the like just uh, the image that was taken on February 8th and now the image that was taken on the last night observations which was February 11th so as you can see, like I used exactly the same settings. The only difference on, between the, those two images is basically the moon phase. On the first picture is 54 and 5, and on the last image is 80.8% of the moon was illuminated. Overall, I'm happy with this filter. I really like the way how this filter cuts down the light pollution and tries to eliminate the moonlight. And also, I really like like all details that I was able to capture using this filter. At the end, I will share the final picture of the horse head nebula that I got. I was able to collect 18 hours worth of data. Also, when stacking, I used some pictures that were taken using uh, Optolong L Pro filter. I also did a video about this filter before. You can check this video later. The link will be over where? Over there. Alright, so it was a quick review about ZWO Duo Band filter. I hope you got some ideas about the way how this filter works and results that you can get using this filter. If you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in future videos and until then, clear skies.